What's everyone saying? It's your boy Summer Sports back again. I'm here today on Calvin Way. University of Glasgow is just around the corner. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my favourite bus route. Um, yeah. When it comes to buses in Glasgow, I've always had one which has stood out to be my favourite. Many of you may have never ridden on it before or even know it exists. But it's this the number 15 bus out to the west of Glasgow, which is my favourite bus route in the city. The 15 operates between Cathedral Street Bridge in the city centre near Buchanan Bus Station and Mulgai Station to the northwest of the city. It runs Monday to Saturday between 6am and 8pm, running every 30 minutes Monday to Friday and hourly on Saturdays, with no service on Sundays. Since its inception in 2012 to 2013, the route has connected the city centre with the University of Glasgow, Anisland, Bears Den, Val Frey and Mulgai. It's been operated by West Coast Motors, originally under the Glasgow City Bus banner, which was slowly phased out by January 2023. West Coast Motors are mostly known for their services in Argyll and Butte to places like Campbelltown, Oban, Glencoe, also operating on islands like Mull and Butte, and a number of Scottish City Link long distance bus services like the 926 to Campbelltown and the 900 between Glasgow and Edinburgh. Under the former Glasgow City Bus banner, they have run the 15 alongside its sister service, the 17, which is probably their best performing route, I can't lie. And a number of SBT contracted services like the M4 between Partick and Annie's Land and the 398, which connects Glasgow City Centre's main railway stations. The 15 has a big place in my heart because it's been my saving grace ever since I moved to Glasgow. As many of you know, all under 22s in Scotland have access to free bus travel, a privilege I was never able to make the most of. So money was always on the back of my mind when it came to traveling by bus in Glasgow. Along its route, the 15 parallels well-frequented bus routes that students travel on, including first bus route six between Annie's Land and town, and first bus route four between Heinland and town. Back in my day, a single into town from the university on the 1st was £2.20 and on the 15th it was £1.80 or if real G the bus driver was feeling good today it was a cheeky £1.50 and of course I'd be waiting to get a cheaper bus. Even if it was every hour you'd see me posted up at the stop outside Glasgow University Union at half past the hour. A day ticket on City Bus was also cheaper at £2.99 when they first introduced their app much cheaper than the £4.40 or so for a first day ticket. Of course, first have a much larger network in the city, but if it came to doing a journey along the Route 15 and 17 corridor, it would just make sense to get a cheeky city bus than the first. Right, let me tell you guys a short story. Yeah? Back before the Rakona, one day I was helping out as a volunteer in the student union during Freshers' Week. The night before had been a bit of a heavy one, I can't lie, and I was feeling a bit under the weather. So, your boy had to be back in on campus for the afternoon, so in the morning I thought I'd just trek into the sea, go for a walk, get some fresh air, get some painkillers, perk myself up and then head back into campus. See, I'd taken the cheeky 17 into town because if I went on that subway train, like shaking all about, that would have just made me re-up my breakfast and last night's beverages. On the way back, I saw the 15 was right around the corner, so I just jumped on, paid my fare, sat my unwell ass on the bus, enjoyed the journey, got off 20 minutes later, and went on with my day. So, tell me why. Tell me why, like super mode. Tell me why. When I checked my bank statement three months later, I saw that I got charged for 10 bleeding tickets for one journey. I got charged 15. £15 instead of £1.50. I got charged £15 to go from city centre, yeah, to university instead of £1.50. Like, yo, you do not understand the pain I was in when I saw this in my bank account. Like, yo, I've been holding this pain in for four years, guys. I've been holding in it. For, oh my gosh, I can't even speak. I've been holding it in for so long. This has hurt me inside painfully. 
And right now, I'm on my knees, yeah, I'm on my knees. Let me actually get on my knees whilst I'm recording this audio. If anyone at West Coast Motors is watching this, please, I beg you, is there any way I could get that £13.50 back? Like, I'd fully show you the proof that I did that journey. You know, I, I, I've, I'm, I'm an avid spender of money on West Coast Motors. Even if it was just a couple of free day tickets, I would like fully personally travel to Campbell Town headquarters to collect them in person. Like, I've actually been getting bantered way too much because of this £15 ticket. And nah, man, it's, it's, hurt, it's hurt my soul. It's hurt my soul. If anyone actually sees this, please, thank you. God bless you, honestly. Message me on Insta or something, I don't know. Well, even though ticket prices have increased, um, not as much as 10 times, but yeah. <laughs> West Coast Motors is still cheaper than other companies, but not by much now, which I actually found out even more painfully. You know, I put that aside to be fair, because I can appreciate that the 15 actually has some of the best buses in the city. Behind McGill's Mercedes-Benz Sotaros, the Alexander Dennis Enviros that you see on this route, and also the Rogue buses that you sometimes get as well, are honestly top tier. Especially the ones that sound like this. Waking up to the sound of these buses was just an experience. It was beautiful. Recently, West Coast Motors has actually cascaded other buses in from like Edinburgh and the borders to add a bit of season into the fleet here in Glasgow. It's something a bit different compared to the other buses that you see across the city. A key benefit of the 15 is that it's the only bus that links the city centre, Woodlands, which is a very studenty area, University main campus and the university's veterinary and sports campus at Gas Cube near Anytown. With the free under 22 bus travel, students are able to reach the university's sporting facilities much easier than before. Of course, you've got the ones on campus, but we're talking about like the big football pages and stuff. Also, the 15 actually ends up being quicker than other bus routes going into the city centre. I'm surprised there hasn't been much more promotion on the West Coast Motors and the university side. Like, yo, like, I would just, I would plaster it on a big screen, get people to use the 15. Getting more people, especially young people, onto buses can help the network flourish and hopefully grow and develop into a more comprehensive one that serves the city well. The 15 hasn't been without threat of low patronage, as seen by the times before my £15 mishap. Back in June 2019, the decision was taken to axe the route partly as a result of low patronage along the route. According to West Coast Motors, a mix of factors, of which I quote, congestion along many sections of the route, consistently but unpredictably delaying buses, as well as passenger data showing that most of those using the service do so from areas with other bus services resulting in increased competition and insufficient usage. For a short period of time, the route ran as a fully subsidised operation on behalf of SPT, only running between Anisand and Mulgai as an essential route. And following local outcry and campaigning, the full service came back in August of 2019. You see, I was a part of that. I was a part of that. Most of the route is now run commercially, with additional funding from the SPT helping to support other services as well. I fully remember a quote from the press release being, we must stress increased bus usage of the service is required to ensure the route is successful. And it's true, and it's absolutely true. <sighs> I, I know it sums up the privatization of Britain's bus network and how buses can just be chopped and changed whenever it just becomes unprofitable. Nevertheless, the bus came back and I definitely think those 10 tickets in September 2019 has helped the 15 stay afloat. In recent history, there's been an extensive program of investment into the route, and from what I can see, it has definitely had an effect. 
especially following the Rakona. For a brief time, the 15 also served Strathclyde University and Glasgow Cathedral before being scaled back to its current terminus at Cathedral Street. In February 2023, services were boosted with the 15 increasing frequency from every hour to every 30 minutes on Mondays to Fridays. You see, that's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. And Boca actually following in my once in a generational, influential, inspiring footsteps to use the best route in Glasgow. Look here, look at them views you get over Glasgow. All in all, it shows that the more you use the bus, the more confidence the bus companies have to improve the service. But to get there, it's all about understanding demand from passengers, finding a gap in the market, and thankfully for the uh, free under 22 bus pass, sticking by it and getting folk on board. Like, I swear, if you're in Glasgow, just for a day, for an hour, for two hours, if you live in Glasgow, you live on the bus route, get on a 15, do it, come on. You know, if, in like a couple of months, people are like, why is everyone using the 15? They'll attribute it to this video and the ridicule that I've got from spending 15 pounds on a bus ticket. Anyways, if you liked the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, uh, if you want to support the channel and recoup that 15 pounds. <laughs> Check out my Kofi and my Patreon link in the description. It's been your boy Simon Explores. I'll catch you in the next video. See you in a bit. Silly.